So we have a cylindrical capacitor which is just touched upon the water surface. So the dielectric will be pulled in. In this case, the dielectric is water itself. So we need to find what is the height gained by the water. So this question can be done in two ways. One by the force on the water. And with that method, we have done several problems before. So this time, let's do it with a different method by energy method. So here, there will be just two terms in our equation. The external work done on the system. So if you take the water itself inside the system, so then you can say that work done by battery, this is the external work done, is equal to delta U, change in potential energy of the system. So potential energy, you can write for the capacitor and the gravitational potential energy. Now, of course, we'll be needing the term of the capacitance here. So let's calculate the capacitance first. So initially, the capacitance should be A epsilon naught by D. And because the gap, so why we are writing this as capacitance for a cylindrical capacitor, we can do that if this gap is very less. Then it's almost like a parallel plate capacitor. It's just, it's, <laughs> it's turned into a circle, but otherwise it's just similar to a parallel plate capacitor. So C can be written for a uh, cylindrical capacitor can be assumed as A epsilon naught by D. So A is the lateral surface area, which is 2 pi RL, and which gives C as this. And once the water fills up, so there will be two capacitors, both in parallel. So it will be C1 plus C2. So this water filled height is H, and the height without water is L minus H. So C1 plus C2 becomes 2 pi r epsilon naught by d L minus h plus epsilon h. So this first term is for the for the empty capacitance and the second term is for the capacitor with water filled. So now we have found our C equivalent. So we should be able to calculate the change in potential energy of the capacitor as well as work done by the battery. So let's take one by one each of these terms. So work done by battery is the charge pass, passing through it times V. So delta Q is final CV minus initial CV, which if you put the values from here, okay, we'll put the values later. So let's first just write it in the form of V square into C equivalent minus C. Delta U of the capacitor is half CV square minus half CV square final minus initial, which will be this. And gravitational potential energy will be mgh and m is rho into volume inside and volume inside is 2 pi r h into d. So lateral surface area into height, sorry, lateral surface area into thickness that will give the volume of the liquid times rho is the mass of the liquid into gh. So here we can see C equivalent minus C terms are common in both. So we'll just take them on the one side and simplify it and get our answer. So again, this question we can be done with the force on the dielectric also. So these are the problems where we had discussed the, how to calculate the force on the dielectric. So try to arrive at the same answer by using that. And if you don't know how to do that, we have discussed this in detail in these problems. So you can just refer those problems in this playlist and try to get the same answer. All right.